Hi there, I'm Cameron Coates. And I'm Emily Trenacosta. And we're graduate students at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. We're trying to find sustainable solutions to environmental problems throughout you. The world is looking for sustainable, economical ways to tackle some of the planet's biggest environmental problems. One of the biggest challenges is creating plastic products that fill the needs of modern life without expanding the environmental problems that continue to grow every day. From production to how we use them to disposal, we have not found a sustainable way to include plastics in our lives. The world's annual consumption of plastic went up from about 5 million tons in the 50s to nearly 100 million tons today, and is still increasing. That's the equivalent of every person in the world throwing away more than three plastic water bottles every single day. And only 25% of that is ever recycled. All this plastic is polluting our planet in ways we may never be able to clean up, and it will never fully break down. 10% of these plastics end up in the ocean where animals get entangled or eat them, and the rest end up in our landfills, which are already running out of space. San Diego's own Miramar landfill will be full in just three years. Plastics are also creating plenty of problems that we can't see, like producing six times their weight in carbon dioxide. With hundreds of millions of tons of plastics being produced every year, and that number going up by 3% annually, the potential to curb CO2 emissions by changing the way we produce and dispose of plastics is substantial. Marrying the growing algae biofuel industry with the world's clear need for a sustainable plastic has the potential to create innovative solution to multiple environmental problems. Enter biodegradable plastics made from algae. Right now, biodegradable plastics depend on sugars that come from agricultural feedstocks like corn. But algae always outgrows corn. They're 10 times more productive than even the fastest crops on land. When a producer removes the oil from the algae to make biofuel, there's still a lot of biomass left over, proteins, and more importantly, carbohydrates. Those carbohydrates can be broken out into simple sugars, the same kind of sugars that currently come from corn. Once you have those sugars, bacteria can convert them into basic building blocks of biodegradable plastic, lactic acid and hydroxyalkanoates. Our lab has already completed research to identify these substances and has used algae to produce them. These biodegradable plastics break down completely, breaking down into carbon dioxide and water. Investment in research into algae-based plastics is the next step in making this solution a reality. More research is needed to compare algae's potential to corn and other sugar feedstocks. The market for biodegradable plastics is growing and has potential to expand beyond current industries to new ones, such as biodegradable medical devices and fishing gear. Most importantly, to make tangible impacts on CO2 emissions and ultimately climate change, a full life cycle analysis needs to be completed to ensure that the energy required to make algae-based plastics is less than petroleum-based plastics. We're confident that production yields will be competitive the market demand will continue to grow, and algae will offer a sustainable and affordable solution to one of the world's biggest environmental challenges.